Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob awaken his dough fruit and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. With the actor slam. Oh, they're yes. dancing forward. That's your slam. That's the dump. Okay, so just a reminder, you can only awaken your dough fruit at the second C, so we need to grind this level 1 account first. To start, you have the fry dough skill, yes, the Z skill at mastery 1. And also, before the update, you need observation hockey to activate the elemental effect on dough fruit. But now, guys, check this out it's already elemental without observation hockey. And with that, grinding will be easier. First target is to reach level 15 with the bandits. After that, moving on, Fountain City is our target. And with the use of our Fountain Strat, everything will be easy. Just lure the galley pirates. And use your M1 to damage them. Don't worry, there's no damage. And last hit them using your Doe Fruit. Again, the fried Doe skill and that's it. With this strategy, you will level up your base level and mastery really fast. But in exchange, you will get less money or bellies. So our target here is level 60 and after that, we will move on to the next island, the desert. Don't worry guys, elemental is in effect with the desert bandits. So you're gonna grind here until you reach level 75. By the way, we've already unlocked the roller donut F skill. There you go. So at level 75, your next target is a Desert Officers, and yes, Elemental is in effect, so we will grind here until we reach level 90. So upon reaching that level, we're gonna check our stats first. Most important stat, Black Fruits, 200, melee defense, 35. So next up is the Frozen Village. Before grinding, don't forget to buy everything the ability teacher sells, the Sky Jump, the Enhancement, and the Flash Step. Now off to the snow bandits, don't worry, yes, elemental is in effect, they don't have hockey. Again, you're gonna grind here until 105. After that, the enemy is the yeti, you are going to grind here until you reach 130. Guys, from here on, we're gonna do server hop, yes, until you reach second C. Yes, that is the fastest way, guys, trust me. Light of a full moon peak, so whatever guys, there is no race awakening yet, I'm kinda sure of that. Let's just wait for the devs to say like, uh, there's a bug, etc, we've already fixed it, something like that. <laughs> okay guys, so at level 130, guys, someone helped us, shout out to him, his name is PDJ whatever, shout out to you bro, thank you. So at 130, we're heading to the marine fortress and start defeating the vice admiral. We're gonna again server up here until reach level 220. In the process, we will unlock the sticky dough, the X skill, again at mastery 100, and here it is. There you go. So again, at 220, we're gonna leave this area. Checking our stats first. Blocks fruits. Again, we're always gonna start with the blocks fruits 460, meal defense 100. Next up is the prison. Guys, there are three bosses here. First is the warden the chief warden and the swan and for your strategy guys all of them wall strat okay so you can defeat them at different levels so at 240 you can start defeating them all guys check this out shout out to rip underscore i don't know his name guys he's not watching my videos he's trying to defeat swan face to face that's why he died check this out bro again Please start watching Gamer Nom again. Don't forget to subscribe. He should do Wall Strat, right? Sadly, he went inside again. <laughs> he accidentally killed him. Sorry, bro. And after that, he started attacking me. No! Guys, I almost died. But our main goal here is to grind. So again, we need to damage Swan. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he died for the second time. So, there you go, guys. My bad, bro. So, we are letting him oof us once. There you go, bro. Hit us. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't move now. I won't move now. There you go. Okay. Peace, bro. Peace. Peace. 
Okay, so back to grinding at level 350, we are going to leave this area and after that, we are moving to the Magma Village. Our only target here is the Magma Admiral. Yes, we're gonna skip the previous mobs before this. We're gonna do Server Hop. It's located here in the Volcano. There you go. So guys, that's it. Again, we're gonna grind until we reach level 425. Go. So once you reach that level, next island is the underwater city. First the whirlpool, and we're gonna go inside it, underwater city. Target is the fishman lord. For the technique, just lure him. There you go. And then another wall strat. Remember our strategy with the prison bosses? This is the same. So again, server up until you reach level 500. And after that, we're going to move on to our next island. Stat check first, blocks fruits. 1050, meal defense 2 to 5, next up Skylands, to be exact, Upper Yard or Upper Sky. So in the Upper Sky, we will defeat one mob only, the Whisper. Strategy is what I call the Stone Strat. So guys, once you're here, he cannot hit you. Check that out. It's a free hit from here. So guys, there you go. <laughs> I have no other way to explain it. Just stand here and defeat him. Again, do server hop until you reach level 637. We will unlock our C skill, the carved dough. And I am going to show it to you. Okay, there goes this one, C skill. Okay, so guys, again, server hop until 637. After that, Fountain City. Back to our enemy a while ago, the Galley Pirate. Remember, guys, Galley Pirate only, no other mobs. Why? Because they don't have Haki. So your fruit is elemental, which means easy grinding. So again, you will only activate it at level 637. And guys, that's it. You're gonna grind here until, guys, can you guess? 793. After that, you're gonna head to the middle town. Talk to the experienced captain. And guys, second C, time to awaken the dough fruit. Okay, so what do you need to do? Just head to the hot and cold, and you need someone who already finished the dough quest in the third C, just like my main account, to enter the dough raid. Okay, so as you can see, I've already entered it at level 793. You need at least 19,000 fragments to unlock every skill, or 8,500 to be exact. Guys, first we will unlock the Z, X, C, and F skill. Because we haven't unlocked the V skill yet, so that's a total of 9,500 fragments. Two more skills to awaken later, the V skill in the top. So back to grinding first. Don't worry, we will unlock that later. Swan Pirates, don't worry guys. Elemental is in effect, they don't have Haki. So this is the F skill. There you go, it can damage enemies now. Yeah, really good. Next up, the C skill. Guys, I don't suggest this much. If you want to grind fast. <laughs> Excel is this one. There you go. It is different when you jump. Z skill is this one. Okay, so upon grinding in this area, we will unlock our V skill. There you go. Not awakened yet. Don't worry. And we will grind with the Swan Pirates until level 925. Okay, so once we reach that level, again 925, we will unlock our tap and V skill. So... Uh, just a couple of levels, almost 150. And there you go, guys. This is the tap for 4,000 fragments. Yes, after 9,500 a while ago, you need a total of 9,000 fragments again to unlock both. So here is the V skill. Guys, one more thing. F skill has no damage when used in water. So next up, the green zone. Our target here is Fajita. Yes. So I decided to do server hop here. This is the X skill when you jump with it. There you go. It's different, right, from the previous one that I showed you a while ago. This one, boom. Okay, that's different. Guys, let's appreciate all the new skills. The V skill awakened. Wow, guys, this really looks good. There you go. How about the C skill? Let me show it to you. There you go. Guys, check that out. Boom. <laughs> Again, I'm going to remind you, we're going to do server hop here. Until what level gamer nom? Level 1028. So let's check our stats first. Blocks fruits, 1994. Melee, 415. Defense, 675. Next up is the snow mountain. Don't worry, guys. This area is easy to grind. Why? Because again, the enemy has no hockey. Elemental is in effect. Snow troopers. 
We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1150. You only need 3 skills to burst these mobs, which makes it a lot easier. Additional knowledge, for those who don't know, this is the island where you can buy the superhuman fight style. There you go. So at 1150, next island is the hot and cold. And our only target here is the smoke admiral. Why? Take note, he's very easy to defeat and he is near the quest giver. So guys, server hop until 1288. And after that, last 3 mobs until 3rd C. Guys, yes, last 3 mobs. Here is the stats, max black fruits. Next up, the cursed ship. Target here, ship deckhand only. Again, ship deckhand only. Why? Because again, they don't have hacky. And then, they're near the quest giver and they spawn really fast. Target here is level 1394. And after that, ice castle. Target the arctic warriors guys last one after this so same with the snow troopers just three skills to defeat them target level is 1473 and after that guys again like i told you last three mobs and this is the last one there you go but let's check our stats first there you go max black fruits melee 600 defense 1419 Next up, Fine Island, the Forgotten Island. Target here is the Sea Soldiers only. <laughs> I keep on saying only. We're gonna skip the boss here, the Tide Keeper, and the other one. I forget the name of that mob. There you go. Again, they don't have hockey. And target here is level 1553. Guys, again, take note of the levels. After you reach that level, make sure to do the Coliseum quest. Don't forget to beat Swan inflict some damage to Indra and after that you are now asked to go to the green zone right and then you need to find Mr. Captain talk to him and you can now go to the third sea congratulations now you will be teleported in the port town and you can start defeating the pirate millionaires at this level guys they cannot damage you because they don't have hockey which means again another easy leveling up or grinding so guys, your target level here is 1,675. And yes, we're gonna skip the Pistol Billionaires, the Stone, the boss in this island. And lastly, for the stats at 1,675, Max Black Fruits, Melee 675, Defense 1950. Next island is the Hydra Island. For our target, guys, the Island Empress, yes, we're gonna skip lots of mobs here. Technic is the Wall Strat. And obviously, we're gonna do server hop. Okay, so guys, just uh, be cautious in using your V skill because sometimes you might pull your enemy outside the wall. So the goal level here is 1750. There you go. And after that, next island is the Great Tree. Same strategy, guys. Boss kill and server hop. The target is the Kilo Admiral. The difference is we are not going to use the wall strat, but we're gonna look for a high ground. Yes, after attacking him, there you go. In this rock, you can use your Z skill, X skill, also the tap. Let's not forget the V skill. Guys, don't use your C skill, okay? As a reminder, we are going to do server hop here until you reach level 1868. And as a bonus, we got the lay. Next island is a turtle island. Target is the fishman captain. This mob has no hockey. He is near the quest giver. It spawns really fast. That's why this is the best mob to grind. We're gonna skip all the bosses, all the mobs. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 2055. For the stats, Blast Fruits Max, Defense Max, Melee 1365. Next up, the Hunted Castle. Our target here is the Reborn Skeletons. And the technique, guys, same with the Fishman Captain. No more server hop for the target level that is 2160. But we reach level 2161, which is really fine. After that, Sea of Treats, final islands. So guys, target is the Peanut Scouts. So here you go, guys. Again, they don't have hockey, which will make everything really easy. So we're gonna guide here until level 2200. And after that, we're going to the next island. I think it is called the Cake Island, right? Located just near... Here are the stats, and in this island, our target is the Cookie Crafter. 
This mob has Haki for the first time. We're gonna defeat a mob like this. But it has no long range attacks, which makes it easy to defeat. Okay? So you're gonna grind here again until you reach level 2300. And after that, last mob to go. So let's head to that island. The new West Island, guys. The Chocolate Island. Also part of the Sea of Treats. There you go. Our target here is the Coco Warriors. Why the Coco Warriors? I think they don't have a low range attack and the experience that they give is enough. So I decided to reach max level with this mob and that's it. Oh and by the way guys, King Legacy will have an update later. So my question to you is, should we cover it? Make videos about it? And if yes, comment it in the comment section. So guys, for this video, that's it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate y'all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.